Good morning, everyone. This is Vrishali. In my last lectures, we discussed about introduction to microcontroller and microprocessor, and also we discuss about PIC 18 microcontroller, their features, their architecture diagram or block diagram, and we also discuss about some important components of PIC 18 microcontroller and memory organization architectures. I have mentioned the link of that videos in below description box. So let's see what are the registers and addressing modes in PIC 18 microcontroller. So here we discussed registers and addressing modes. Okay. So let's see the first registers in PIC 18F microcontroller. So there are various uh, registers are used. So registers are generally used for to storing temporary information in bits format. So the first register is special function register. that uh, and general purpose register so we discussed in detail sfr and gfr in last lecture so special function register generally used to store some uh, status of particular peripheral functions and uh, control signals of particular peripheral functions now general purpose registers are used to store some scratch pad or some uh, temporary informations like addition subtraction multiplication or temporary variables that we used in our program next working register so that is w register this register is generally used to perform all the arithmetic or logical functions and this registers work as a accumulator now the next register is status register so status register is generally used to store the flags and they stored always information either zero or one format I mean they show the status whether it is high low in this way so this status operations are done by the alu now the just see here in this uh, status register this is a detailed uh, block structure of the status register and there are some uh, five features are there the first one is a c suppose uh, while performing a arithmetic operation suppose carry is generated so at that time carry is stored into this c uh, flag or if a uh, subtraction purpose if borrow is generated so this set at this particular flag next digital carry flag if any digital carry flag is generated while performing the operation this information stored here next zero so this set when result of an operation is zero then overflow flag I means suppose you have to perform the addition of 16 bit numbers and the re re results are generated into the 17 bits or 18 bits numbers so at that time generate the overflow overflow flag so at that time this information are stored into this overflow flag then n means negative flag so any negative results are generated while performing the arithmetic and logic operations so at a time this information stored into this end flag so this is a flags in status registers now the next register is bank select registers so we discussed bsr then fsr pc and sp this four registers in detail in my last video right so bank select registers generally used in a data memory for uh, they divide the complete memory into the banks and they store the addressings into the data memory then file select registers means when you open a particular file so at that time this file is stored into the particular location right so this location do you can fetch this particular file at that particular location so for that purpose memory pointers are used so this file select registers are used for that then program counters memory so you can burn the embedded c or assembly program into the microcontroller so these programs are stored into the program memory of microcontroller right and while execution each and every instructions are executed sequentially so whatever the instructions are executed this instructions are stored into the program counter sequentially so for that purpose program counters are used they hold the program memory address while executing the programs and stack pointers so generally stack pointers are used for uh, nested functions or uh, to call the particular functions from one function to another function or for some return purpose so generally p18 has five bit stack pointers and generally is used to access the stack information so these are the registers in p18 f microcontroller now the next point is addressing modes so in p18 f 4550 microcontroller having four bit addressing four addressing modes immediate addressing direct addressing registers indirect addressing and index addressing modes so let's see in detail 
the first one is immediate addressing modes so in this addressing modes operand is a number or constant not an address so generally just considered uh, just focus on this examples okay so the first example is move al 35h so here this 35h this value are directly stored into the al register right now next one see here that is 01100h this binary information are directly stored into this add lw register right so means you can store directly the information or addressing information into the registers so this is called as immediate addressing modes so uh, this advantage of immediate addressing modes is value is explicitly present in instruction so here values that is 35h this binary numbers values are directly present and disadvantages is limited size for the operand limited size for the data is suited only so that is immediate addressing modes now see here the next addressing mode is direct addressing modes which is also called as absolute addressing modes now see here in this example first example is add al 0301 so the meaning of this instruction is whatever the value are present at this location 0301 this values are stored add into this al that is accumulator register okay the next example is move f 0x30 port c means whatever the contents are present at port c this contents are moved to 0x30 location right so this is the direct addressing mode see here in this example below diagram add r to a means whatever the content present at a this content are stored at add up to the r2 right so currently a is blank so there is no any contents are present here so this contents are not st the, uh, directly stored into the r2 so the advantages are simplest for all addressing modes means you can directly uh, store the content on that particular location into the particular file or particular registers and disadvantages is provided limited address space so here each and every instruction contain the address of location in memory where value of the operand is stored now the next one is register indirect addressing modes so just focus here in this example in below diagram see here load r3 and r2 okay now see here r2 means this r2 that is in process register and r2 a value is stored so a is a address and a address 200 value is stored right so this 200 value is placed load at the r3 that is load r3 and r2 means 200 value load at r3 so this is called as indirect addressing modes you can indirectly call r2 means r2 means a and a at the a 200 is stored right so this is called as indirect addressing modes so the address field of instruction specify address of memory location that contain effective address of the operand right so the advantages is same set of instruction can be used multiple times you can fetch any information from anywhere then the disadvantages is number of memory references is more means you can fetch r2 to a then a again has some address stored again it goes to next address means multiple reference pointers are there this is a disadvantages so this is called as registers indirect addressing modes now the next one is indirect index addressing mode see here in this example load ri x of r2 okay now see here x of r2 at r2 which information is stored a that is address now see here at a a at 100 value is stored right so 100 is moved to ri that is r3 see here here where 100 value is stored then that is ri means it goes to plus plus next location so next a plus 4 that is 200 is stored so next 200 value is stored right so basically they stored the index of particular location or particular address right see here x of r2 so here a is stored so a is the index of next memory so miss index addressing mode so index addressing mode is helpful when the instructions in the programming accessing the array okay or large range of memory address generally in array uh, we array structure we use address that is a of 0 a of 1 in this way so in this mode is effective address is generated by adding the constant to the register content 
and the advantages of this index addressing mode is provide a flexibility to specify memory location here um, directly memory location is mentioned and it is complex to implement because there are multiple indexes and multiple reference pointers are there right so generally all these addressing modes are used for performing the uh, operations or performing the implementations of program as per the requirement of project okay as per your requirement of project you can use this addressing modes for fetching the data so this is a work of addressing modes addressing system thank you